Good morning. Welcome to Yoga by Dana. Today we're going to do chair yoga. We're using a block and a strap. And we have a little bit of a fitness um, focus to the class. And I think you'll find yourself having a good time, but really getting a lot of work done to improve your flexibility, to improve your range of motion, and to simply basically take care of yourself so that you can maintain your independence. All right, so we start with the block. We're putting it between the legs. I have an egg-shaped block, it's kind of fun. Ground your feet, sit near the edge of the seat. You can see my backside, my mirror reflection. I'm on the very edge of my seat. Ground through our lower body, bring the shoulders down. Let's get started. We're gonna take a big breath in, pull your shoulders up to your ears, feel the tension, make two fists and squeeze your block as you blow out. You're letting it go. Two more times. Breathe in. Let it go. Breathe in. Let it go. We're dropping the chin to the chest. I'm going to take my hands behind the head, scoop my thumbs up the nape of the neck. We're going to drop the elbows forward, elongating your cervical spine. Then we open, open your wings. Keep your elbows high. Again, dropping, squeeze your block. And lift, open. One more time. And open. Another thing we can do, you can do, if you're having that forward head posture, simply press your own hands into your forehead, bringing the back of your head in line with the back of your pelvis. So we're gonna hold it there. little bit of double chin, squeeze your block, and relax, breathe in, mount and pose, exhale, breathe in, Exhale, my palms are up until halfway, and then I change. Breathe in, squeeze the block. Exhale. One more, breathe in. Exhale, drop down, bring your arms forward. Okay, so sometimes I see this and you're just reaching your arms forward. No, it's your whole body is forward. And then drop the back, drop the arms to the back, airplane arms. Drop the shoulders. Reach forward. Airplane arms, nice and slow. Breathe in. Let go. Breathe in. and let go. Let's leave our arms in the back. Okay, elbow flexion, elbow extension, press. Put those two together, we're bending and straight. Bend, 
the chest. Okay, I'm sliding my heels in. When you can do the fake out or you can actually step up. So we're either stepping up like we're about to leave the chair or we squeeze everything in but don't go anywhere. You decide which one is better for you. Here we go. And it's Hold, squeeze, and down. Hold, down. Hold, down. All right, I'm gonna do another version. Hold, down. Hold, down. Hold, down. All right, I'm gonna do the first version. Hold, down, hold, down, hold, down. And here's the second version. Hold, and two, three, and four. All right, relax, drop your chin. Down, 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 over to the right. Very tempting to let the block go. Try not to. Over to the left side. Imagine you're actually any side. The block's going to keep you from falling over. To your right. And this muscle that we're stretching, it goes down the neck and out to the clavicle, sternocleidomastoid. Let's do two more. Right. Right. To the left. All right, we're coming up to our center again. Find the base of your neck. We're coming forward. Open, almost like cow. You know that lifting, the cow says move. Forward, this is a little more like cat. And cow. Mm -hmm. Notice from the reflection how forward I go. And from the reflection, how far back? Four more. And back. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. One. Breathe in. I'm going to open cactus arms. Okay, my elbows are not down here. They're way up here. They're also not in front of me. They're out to the sides. 
Open your hands, stretch your thighs. There is a stretch called the doorway stretch where you actually put your body uh, in the door with the door open, of course. <laughs> and you get this really massive chest stretch opener. We're gonna do the same thing here. And then when you rest, Squeeze your block. Open. Rest. Open. And rest. Open. Good job. I love. It. Please lift those elbows. Lift them up. And four. Scale. Three, exhale, exhale, and one, exhale, let's open again, and open, cactus, open, cactus. We're keeping our palms up. So this should be very tiring on your upper back muscles. That's what you're working. Open. Open. Four. Three. Two. One, bring it in, bring it down. Keeping your block, we're twisting to the right. If you have a chair railing, I actually like to push my palm into the chair. All the way to the other side. You're moving with your spine in line. Gonna add the right arm. Open the door. Shut the door. Lock the door. Raise up, down, four, think a boot, and down, and three, and down, two. And down. Okay, this last one, you've gotten some length. We're going to let that right arm go all the way up. Going to bend it. And that might be it right there. If you want more, you use your hand, the left hand that's not being used. You use that to get a little bit more leverage. Important here, squeeze your block. And then you use the left a little. Very carefully. And down. Sometimes the arms even get teeny. Did you notice that? Okay. Let's take the left arm. We're twisting left. Close the door. Lock. Up, 
do a little peekaboo. Uh, all the way up this time. Now we need to go. We're going to bend with a scratch of back, lending extra leverage. Looking to right. Wonderful stretch for serratus muscles. These muscles line your ribs. Uh, they, they cover the ribs. They're serrated like, like the ribs are. And then you the ribs, of course, to your heart and lungs. And up and down. And I bet your upper body is pretty <laughs> a little bit fatigued. So we'll give some love to the shoulders before moving on to your lower body. shoes on might be a little challenging. Circle. You're circling with awareness, feeling the flexion, feeling the pointing of the toe. When you flex, it's actually dorsiflexion. When you point, it's actually plantar flexion. This is where a lot of my students say, my ankles are so stiff now. Well, do you, do you move them? Do you work them? Do you keep them lubricated? The direction. You know, we kind of expect our bodies to just be there for us and work perfectly, even as we age. And that's just not practical thinking have to really take care of ourselves. We have to keep everything nice and oiled up and lubricated and strong. Hey, right. switching legs. Stretch the toes. Even if they don't open, don't worry, keep doing it. You can feel the muscles working, right? My side that is like, get my little pinky toe, it doesn't want to go around the bend. <laughs> Now, this feet down, change this camera angle. There's something called inversion and eversion. And it's, it's important. So we have our toes going in. So that's your inversion, eversion, in and out, right? I tell you what, this is a good workout on your feet. So my knees close and they open. Keep going. If you want something to do, <laughs> you can add your hands. <laughs> this is fun, but it really is working your ankles, your feet, your tibialis interiors, your adductors, a lot of good things. Pay attention. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, then the next one, we're just gonna crank it out, tap, tap, tap as fast as you can. 
keep going. I'm gonna change your angle one more time. I don't like it. I don't want to be the headless horseman. <laughs> okay, so we're tapping, tapping, tapping. Keeping those spine straight. This weight. I challenge you to do this when you're watching TV. If a commercial comes on, start the tapping of the toes. See if you can continue through the whole commercial. I would be surprised if you could, but if you can't. I would love to hear a report back. Just the toes. So the shins get a little buzz to the Alice anterior muscles. <laughs> All right, now heelers, heels, heels. So now we're working backside. This is. Calves. You can go nice and slow. You can also go faster. Keep going. Keep your tummy in. Keep your spine long. Maintain your shoulders down your back. So, calves are starting to ignite. We're going to put these two together. Toes, heels, toes, heels. There we go. Tummy in, back is long, shoulders back, keep going. Notice how much you're working your ankles. They don't do that too much. And yet, think about it, ankle stability keeps us from tripping over our own feet. Uh -huh. Last eight. And two and one. Okay. Point for the legs, the knee joints. So for that, the knee is designed for flexion and extension. We're lifting the knee, which is moving from the hip pointing the leg out. You can put some hands underneath for the hamstring support. Maybe you don't need that. Generally, you need a little support. Four. Three. Two, one, okay. If you're able to, you can cross your legs or you can cross your legs kind of like a guy. We call this the cobbler pose. This is a really great stretch for the glutes. Barely leaning forward, that's all it takes. Okay, hopefully you're feeling that. Moving on, second leg. Point, knee, flexion, extension, flexion. our strap to make sure we stretch our back side, especially calves and hamstrings. And four, three, two, 
one. Okay. So you can cross your legs that way or more cobbler style for the absolutely wonderful glute stretch. It's almost like you're stirring a big pot of stew. Again, you can use both hands. One. Going from my in to out. Middle of the body out. Four more. Three. Two. One. And then we go from out to in. Out. In four, three, two, one, and one more side. You're almost there. But wait, you don't want to go before the strap series because that part's awesome. If you don't have a yoga strap, um, if you own a dog or Probably just a dog. You can use a leash. Um, you can use a back. Any kind of belt, provided it's a nice long belt. Covered. Little strap. On. And one. What are the Blood flow. In fact, that seems to take the thumbness away. Oh, this is not a game. You think this is change the hand? I think you can write it. Is that what you think? Ah, oh, well, we've had other plants. <laughs> I know. That's not what we're doing. We're tapping, tapping. We're tapping the legs up and down. Up and down. That's right. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> okay, a little distraction. Go to the strap. The easiest way is just step on it. Hold it. Keep your right foot in. Hold it, hold it. Launch the leg, and I've got one close to my chest and one close to the foot. This is our big stretch. Now, yes, I'm more flexible probably than you are, maybe as I am a dancer and I do this all the time. Hamstrings insert behind the knee, and they go right up into the bones. Right, we're going to open. So now you're stretching inner thigh. You want a balancer? We stick out the opposite arm. Five, six, seven. Now it's a soccer kick. You're pigeon toed. Your leg is going just past your midline. Out the leg, lift, lift. Never force. Never force. I shouldn't have to say that, but I have to. <laughs> okay, so we put the other foot in. Your first foot's going out. I'm going to hold two places on the strap. I'm going to pull one hand next to the foot, one hand next to my chest.
And yes, you can also do this on your back. But sometimes this is more convenient. You don't have to get on and off the floor. We're gonna open. Power. Three, two, here's the soccer kick. I am grabbing the left leg with my right hand. That's a little kitchen It's really good for prevention of plantar fasciitis. It's a great stretch for your planter. Great to do this before you step out of your bed in the morning. Take the straps out. Finish you up. Nice forward. Option grab up is all the way. Hanging out. All right, stay over, but put your hands on your thighs with your fingers facing each other. Now look in front of you. It's our halfway lift. Last one. A little further, a little further, and all the way up. We don't want to get up just like that because sometimes that makes you dizzy and it's not pleasant. Let's keep it pleasant. That is how you feel. I hope you had fun. I want this to be fun for you. Love this. Please the light within me. Love and shine the light within you. May you have a blessed day every day. Thank you for joining us at Yoga by Dana. That is D A Y N A. And I reside in the Hudson Bend Lakeway area where my personal studio is. And I invite you to come over and see me live or virtual. My whole website has all the classes. Yogabydana.com. Thank you.